my friend got this for me. Right, also, people keep on like basically saying I'm a liar. So, this was my discharge paperwork. Uh, diagnosis, Tylenol toxicity, liver failure, uh, bacteria with pyuria, I think that might be like a UTI or something. A key, F A key, wow, <laughs> acute kidney injury, fever, hematuria, anemia. Uh, well, anyway, as you can see, hepatic coma, seizure-like activity, shock, like and all these other little things. Point is, people were saying that I wasn't actually in a coma or whatever bullshit. Uh, they said it wasn't Tylenol. It was from the Tylenol. Procedures. Intubation. I was intubated. 39. History of fibroids. Wisdom teeth removal. Yeah, and the rest of it is just talking about, you know, follow-up care or whatever. Yeah, that's so weird because for them to be like, oh, I wasn't cooperative for something or that I was whatever, whatever, I have no memory whatsoever of showing up to their hospital. Or if I do, it's so mixed in with the dreams that I didn't realize it was real. I was really, really scared, and I didn't know what was happening to me. Oh, my allergies are doing a thing today. My eyes are all itchy and watery. It'll be all right after I take a shower, I, I think. I think it's probably dust or something. <laughs> you scared me. Yeah, okay. Whatever. I hate brushing my hair when it's dry, but it's gonna be okay because I'm gonna get in the shower. So my hair was already thin because I have thyroid problems and whatever else. But then when I was in the hospital in the coma, um, my hair got really messed up and matted. And my sister tried to help me and she had to aggressively brush through my hair and it got even thinner. And I'm really sad about it because I don't want to have to cut my hair so I'm just dealing with it thin. I was thinking about maybe getting a cute little hat, but hats are expensive. I might check the thrift store or something and just get something cheap just to make me feel a little better. Um, I don't know. I really don't like how thin it is. I think it sucks. Um, after this, I'm going to take a shower. Make sure everyone is up. See if anyone wants to help me cook, because I was thinking about cooking instead of just like cereal or whatever today. I don't know. I guess it depends how late it gets. I've been wanting to make a proper breakfast. I bought the stuff for it the other day, but I didn't do it. location so yeah so i'm getting this kind because i don't know i think it's a good color on me i'm not going to change my shirt because well the shirt's already ripped and too big for me but also it's the same color so mm 
Okay, one of these is just oh, pre-color serum. Before coloring, put on the dry ends of your hair, okay? Well, I got a lot of dry ends, so. I don't know if they mean the very, very ends, but whatever. I should just have these very ends trimmed TBH. All right, I washed my hands. All right, one of these is conditioner, so that's this one is the conditioner. We'll set that aside. And these usually have gloves inside that direction. And this does. Good. Because I don't want my hands. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do a little laundry while I wait. That's all clean clothes up there. Stuff that I just need to deal with. My kids have a lot of options to read. Uh, that definitely doesn't go there. Let's get this put away. Oh, shoot. This was me at about 18, maybe not even 18, 16, I think. 16 at the beach, that's how I dressed. As hidden as possible, because I thought I was really, really ugly and I didn't want to disgust people with my ugliness. I don't know who that is. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna get in the shower now and then we can do that. I don't normally read comments, but I'm gonna read the ones on. So I posted another like, hey, GoFundMe reminder because we really aren't even close. Because if we can't save the house, if we don't raise enough to save the house, I, just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Gotta buy another house maybe? I don't know if I can sell this house. I don't know what's gonna happen. So um, it will really still help to have some money to get us through. Um, I have been posting more on social media. Like I said, my, um, my YouTube made almost $700 this month. So thank you to everyone. I really appreciate it. Uh, didn't you say that it's only on the 18th that a court date will be sent and they won't necessarily condemn the house and you want to raise half the money by then? Yep, I did say that. Someone says you got the kids back. That's great. Uh, no, I only have some of them back. Do you know how to crochet or sew? You can make and sell some items. I do, but I'm incredibly slow at it. Like it takes me months to make one little thing. Alrighty then, let's get this shower done. Okay. There. 
that's better now we just gotta wait for it to dry to see how it's gonna look i'm gonna change my clothes once i switch the laundry and that dries so i have to pick up my friend's kid and then we're gonna do the grocery store after that Ugh. So I feel like people misunderstood something that I said. I said that they're not automatically condemning it on the 18th or 19th or whatever, that it's gotta go before a judge before that decision is made. That doesn't mean it's not getting condemned. I feel like people might misconstrue that. It means that the judge might allow me some more time. And I feel like if I can go in and be like, hey, I raised half the money, I just need a little more time, then he might be flexible. If I say, yeah, I don't have any money, and he's gonna say wow sucks for you condemned you get it so like i it's frustrating that people are running around and being like our house isn't getting condemned yes it is it is getting condemned if i don't raise enough money to convince the judge to give me more time so i didn't realize that i agreed to pick my daughter's friend up from her other friend's house without my daughter there like she's not even there like wait what the heck did you just have me agree to but on the bright side it's one of my best friend's kids, which is probably why she knew I'd say yes anyways, but it just kind of caught me off guard. And she was like, oh yeah, I'm not even there. I'm like, oh, okay, that's wild, but all right, sure. Um, real quick, I just wanted to show you guys again the roof because I'm still getting comments saying, just go up there and fix it yourself. Like, okay, like I said, I don't have a ladder. I don't have tools. I don't have money for supplies. I don't know how to fix a roof. Even if I watched a YouTube video, hold on still wouldn't know how or be able to fix that. It's not just shingles. It's not just a patch. It is, the wood is rotting. That's why it costs so much. Like, look, I, all that wood has to be replaced. Honestly, if someone just wants to buy the house, make me an offer. It's a nine bedroom house. It's over 3,000 square foot. It's got a basement that, you know, it's not all dirt. It's obviously a fixer-upper, and it's not going to be right for just anybody. It's got to be somebody who has the ability, the means, whatever, because I didn't have the ability to fix this up. We just needed a place to live. Our last house was really tiny, and I'm glad we weren't living in it because it burned down. Now, I kind of think that it burned down because of my ex's uh, brother plugged something in the wrong way or something, but he says he doesn't think that's what happened. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'm glad we weren't there. So, um, and our house before that also was a trailer and that also burned down. Oh, I wanna go check the apple tree real quick. So I am super proud that we planted these apple trees because it's the only thing that's actually flourished. Everything else that we've planted just didn't survive. I don't know if that's any good. It looks like it's gotten a little bit too, yeah, they're already going bad. I thought they're not supposed to be ready until fall. We should have checked them sooner, dang it. They're not getting bigger, they're just dying. And y'all just missed me catching my phone. I set it down for a second and it was like all over the place. And I was like, ah, and I caught it. So proud of myself. I got to clean my butt again. It's not that dirty. I just, some mail fell and there's like some tissues in that. But for the most part, my bus isn't really dirty. I mean, it's a little dirty. I could sweep, whatever. I feel refreshed. Mmm. I really shouldn't have messed with that. Yay, I feel so much cuter now that I took a shower. <sighs> I swear, it's like something about taking a shower. It just makes me feel brand new. The swelling on my eyes has gone down a bit. I don't know if the tea tree oil helped or if it's just because it's gotten a little later in the day, but it's still cool. I might not even bother putting makeup on today. I don't know. Okay, time to do. Let her know I'm here. I hate that I lost 40 pounds and I have all, all that. Don't look at it, it's yucky. <laughs> and people can lose hundreds of pounds and not have that. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of myself. All right, what do you think? All right, I'm gonna post it on Instagram. Oh, and then good. you called me out. Let me plug this in. You have the most vibrant hair. Oh. <laughs> I 
All right, I gotta text my friend and see if she's ready. Small macaroni and cheese? Oh um, yeah. We have a small one in Yeah, just can I have a small macaroni and cheese? gonna be on my way but now the timing sucked don't worry I'm pointing at myself at you I was actually gonna say actually like it just looks like it's gonna storm now like all of a sudden but like over there it looks clear okay I gotta put that down well 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 what have we here I'm just kidding <laughs> no but seriously my hair is about to be ruined Um, 
time, but it looks good today. Why? Same with me. My hair looks good. Are you excited about going back to school? Yeah. What are you looking forward to most? Uh, seeing my friends again. I was just accidentally filming for 25 minutes. Oh. By the way, it's a race. Huh? It's a race. It's a race? Oh. Are you excited about spending the night at your friend's house? Yes. Um, we need to win the race. Well, I'm not stabbing this lady in the back with our poles. I know you push them to the side, but I'm still not doing it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> then you can be stabbed with the poles. Oh, you know what? I should have grabbed his toothpaste. Anyways, go on. No, no, no. The aisles are pretty full. There's not that many open. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, the pharmacy's not open right now, so I'm gonna try again another time. My eyes still look really tired today, though. Maybe I should get some cucumbers, put that on my eyes. No. No, no, wait till we wait till you get to your friend's house. Okay. Don't be sad. I just want you to have snacks there. Looks like it stopped raining. Yeah. It's right out here. I like my vehicle because I don't lose it when I park. <laughs> um, no, I'll do it because I don't want your wet feet going across where my butt go. It's warm in here though. Do you guys know how to open windows? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, open some I'm windows. Not for a These are kind of hard, so I wet a paper towel and I'm going to try microwaving them for like 15 seconds and see if that helps. Yeah, my microwave's in need of being replaced, but I can't afford that right now. not amazing with them. Oh, okay. like I looked over there from your about your room. And I looked over here and it took me like two seconds to even notice that you were like a person. Oh that's a, interesting. Probably more to be honest. Okay. Well it's uh good to be aware of. We'll have to maybe get you a doctor's appointment or something. I don't know. You think it's your eyes or do you think you're just a little slow at processing? I think it's my eye because Okay. I don't think I'm slow at processing. Also, your cheeks look kind of hurts. Oh, I don't like that at all. Like, more like my jaw right there-ish. Ooh, this was perfect. Now they're soft. So, yeah, I did 15 seconds, and the Nan Dippers are now better. Also, I've heard a lot of people say there's no improvements we made to the house. Like, I've literally bought cupboards. This backsplash, I bought this. But my ex used a really, really cheap glue, and it didn't stick. And so now it's not up there anymore because this has to be scraped off. But I've painted these... My, my kids helped 
all different counters from when I first moved in. Like everything in this kitchen is different. We just didn't have the money to finish and my ex was helping me with the work and I don't know how to lift things. I don't know how to do things all by myself. New stove, well new-ish. Anyways, I'm just saying, people saying that I put no money into the house is such a mean lie and I don't even see why. Like what's the point? Like the bathroom wall, the whole wall leading to outside had to be replaced at one point. But, but yeah, no, but I didn't put any money into this house. Or the fact that the lead paint was already painted over. It was one of the first things when we moved in. I didn't know that it wasn't gonna really work. What do I know? So, I don't know. So that's my lunch or whatever. I ate a couple pieces of lunch meat. Now I'm grabbing this. You should get some lunch too, Dash. Oh yeah, sure. So my younger kids are spending the night at their friend's house. Man, these are so much better soft. Oh, my goodness. Last time I ate them, I just ate them all hard and dry, but like, look at that. Oh, now I'm just waiting for my laundry to finish just read a comment that said that my house was condemned when I bought it. That's so weird considering I've been here four years and I've never heard anything about that even now. Like, I don't know where they're getting it from. But no, my house was not condemned when I bought it. That's ridiculous. If it was condemned when I bought it four years ago, don't you think I would have known about that by now? I just, it's so frustrating because it's like, there's a group of people who make up lies about me and then use each other as references. Like, yup, I also think that therefore it's true. And then they're like, oh yeah, I heard that too. But like, they're hearing it from each other. So like, you're pulling it out of your own asshole and then insisting it's true and then using it in arguments. Like someone was like, it's diabolical that she's trying to raise money to save her house that was condemned when she bought it. Like it literally wasn't condemned because I would have known about that four, four years ago. Like that doesn't, if it was condemned, how am I living here? How am I in the house right now if it was condemned four years ago? No, it's going to be condemned if we don't get the rotten roof fixed. That's why I have the GoFundMe. I, it's like, I don't know if people think I have a time machine. They're like, oh my gosh, it was condemned when she bought it. So she needs she needs the money so she can get a time machine and go back in time and then get the house fixed up so that she can buy it or something like what are you talking about how am i living in it if it's condemned now like you think i'm here illegally like what are you talking about someone suggested that we sell everything that we own to save the house first of all what we have isn't worth a lot like yes i have some old books and I have these broken ass bookshelves that are basically hanging by a thread that are worth nothing. Um, but I think that that's like a crazy idea too. Like, so we'll what? We'll sell everything we have and have a completely empty house with nothing to bring us joy and nowhere to sleep and nowhere to eat for nothing because we still won't be able to save our house. Like... The only thing that might do is make it so we need a smaller unit, um, storage unit. All right, I'm just gonna finish up this vlog. Um, I went to my friend's house and I don't film at my friend's houses unless they say that I can. And that particular friend isn't fond of social media. So um, here's a picture I took of a stop sign and a street corner. Um, so thank you everyone for subscribing and for following and be sure to subscribe on my TikTok live if you want to be entered in a painting giveaway. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.